Let's hear from our next resident. Mr. Mayor, can you please tell me what's going on the corner of Fish Pond Road and Pittman Downer Road? Of course, Sue. I'll be happy to tell you what I know about that project. Approvals have been granted and preliminary construction has begun on Priscilla Place Apartments, a 14-unit upscale luxury apartment complex to be located at the intersection of Fish Pond and Pittman Downer Roads. Although the community will be small, it will not lack for amenities. It offers 10 two-bedroom and four one-bedroom units of comfortable living space. Ground clearing will continue through the spring and the building foundations will go in sometime before month's end. That's about all I can tell you on that one right now, Sue. But I can tell you about some other projects that have recently come to fruition. Walgreens Pharmacy on the corner of Egg Harbor and Gantown Roads opened its doors on Friday, March 7th. They tell us they will hold an official grand opening very soon. Elite Auto Salon, an upscale car wash located on Delcy Drive, followed suit with their grand opening on the following day. Construction is coming along nicely at Kennedy's WT Fitness and Wellness Center, located just behind Columbia Bank. The center will house a pool, racquetball, and basketball courts, a weight room, Pilates, yoga, and spinning classes. Virtua Healthcare recently broke ground on their health and wellness center, located just up the block on Herfield Cross Keys Road. This complex promises a fitness center and spa, a sports performance center, a rehabilitation center, child care services, and much more. Enterprise Rent-A-Car will soon occupy a vacant car lot at the intersection of Delcy Drive and Chapel Heights Roads. Site work has begun and building plans are being reviewed for the Hampton Inn, a 74-unit hotel with meeting rooms located on the Black Horse Pike. Construction is underway at the Sports Authority, a large retail sporting goods store that will be located at Cross Keys Place near Home Depot on the bypass. Over at Nifty 50s, they're finishing up construction on a new miniature golf course. We should be set to tee off sometime this month. So that's a look at some of the latest updates on some of the construction going on around town. We'll keep you updated right here on Ask the Mayor. Okay, next question. Mayor, you didn't raise taxes in the past few years. I was wondering, are you going to be able to do that for us again? Well, you know, the subject of taxes is one of those inevitabilities that few of us look forward to discussing, and it is still a bit early in the game, but I can tell you how we see things shaping up so far. Despite an economic trend that has led to New Jersey residents paying some of the highest property taxes nationwide, in Washington Township we have managed to hold the municipal portion of your tax bill steady for the past two years running. This was no easy feat. In the past, we accomplished this by securing funding on the federal, state, and county levels to help offset tax increases, secure open space, and accomplish other municipal goals. We repurposed unexpended funds to complete projects such as the roads improvement package. We negotiated budgetary decreases in insurance premiums and lowered starting pay rates to offset salary hikes in our police officer and other union contracts, thereby avoiding potential layoffs. And we also generated non-tax-based revenues to give our taxpayers much-deserved tax relief. This year, the township has two big obstacles to overcome. First, a proposed cut in state aid that amounts to $464,000 less than what we received last year. This cut equates to slightly less than two cents on your tax rate. And we are not alone in our budgetary reduction. Municipalities across the state will have to make ends meet without the benefit of their anticipated annual state aid. Our second biggest obligation is to pension funds, which have increased by close to $700,000 just this year. This could equate to another three cent hike in the tax rate. Those two items alone have us looking at close to a $1.2 million deficit, which amounts to about a five cent tax increase. In addition, our medical insurance renewal rate came in at a whopping 16% increase over last year. Plus, we must meet certain contractual obligations to our unions. Now, all of this bad news being said, I don't want you to assume that our future is bleak. As your mayor, I am doing a number of things, along with our business administrator, chief financial officer, and township auditor to keep the budget in line. We are actively trying to sell two liquor licenses that are advertised at starting bids of over $500,000. The sale of these licenses could make a significant one-time impact on our municipal budget. We are meeting with our health insurer to make some adjustments in our premiums that could reduce our out-of-pocket expenses over the long haul. 
We are currently operating at a bare bones staff level. Some departments such as planning and zoning and the tax assessor's office are down to a two person staff. Unfortunately, we are prepared to make further sacrifices for the overall good of our taxpayers. And lastly, we are trying to be as creative as possible in every department and in every line item. Because with school taxes going up, cost of living increases taking place around us, we cannot afford to do anything less for our taxpayers. So there you have it folks, no sugar coating here. When it comes to holding the line on municipal taxes, we have done it before the last two years. It's going to be difficult to do this year. We will have to tighten our belts and do everything we can to hold down taxes. So stay tuned, we'll let you know as the budget process continues.